Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on all things home, like seasonal home decor, high-end DIYs, cleaning and organizational videos, shopping hauls, food and travel too. As I said, all things home. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on your notification bell to all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I would also appreciate if you leave me a comment and make sure you hit that like button because this helps my channel to grow here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to share with you two creative spins on a very popular decorative accent piece, the knot sculptures. One will be a modern textured knot sculpture, and the second will be a modern industrial knot sculpture. I got my inspiration for this piece from both Crate and Barrel and West Elm. So I went over to Lowe's and I picked up a few pieces. I picked up pipe insulation. I wanted something like a pool noodle, and I couldn't find one that was black. So I ran across this uh, pipe insulation at Lowe's. It was the color that I want, it was the texture that I wanted, and it was the, the uh, size that I wanted. So I'm going to take this pipe insulation and cut it into three pieces and interlock them to give me that knot sculpture look. You'll notice the one at Crate and Barrel was a travertine knot, and I love the texture on it. I also like the black one that I saw at West Elm. So I'm going to kind of smash those two inspiration pieces together and uh, create my own, as I said earlier, creative knot sculpture. I'm going to take these one inch straight couplings and see if I can help, if it will help me to attach the two ends together. Today's video is in conjunction with a collaboration called The Look for Less. And this collaboration is hosted by Yami of the Latina Next Door. I will link Yami's channel down below in the description box. I will also link the playlist of the other content creators participating today. Come closer I say it's alive and touch the sky Yeah, till it's over Over In a minute we're sober We're born to live and die for love We know that Know that We Be running and running and running The storm you meet Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. 
I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out. And make sure you follow. I didn't have enough space to do three rings, so I had to stop at two. But what you can do is make sure that you cut your uh, pieces maybe a little longer. If I probably had done an inch longer on each piece, I would have been able to get two in here as opposed to one. So for the next knot sculpture, I picked up three quarter inch corrugated tubing. Now my thinking with this was a more industrial, this was a more modern industrial type look. And I also picked this up at Lowe's. Let's see if what I'm thinking can come to fruition. The, my thinking was that I would be able to just tie this tubing into a knot to get that look I'm going for. I was thinking too, also you could probably add something down here, some decorative piece here on the end to give it just a little bit more architectural interest. Almost like a sailor's knot, huh? Oh, I love that. And the corrugated tubing kind of gives it more of an industrial. If you have a loft, one of those modern industrial lofts, this on a bookshelf I think would be absolutely awesome. I love that. That is so, so cute. Okay, guys, here's the reveal. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Leave me a comment. I love the way it turned out. appreciate you being here and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. Hit that like button and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Which DIY did you like best? The modern knot sculpture or the industrial knot sculpture? And now that you've made it to this point in my video click one of the video links at the end to see more home decor by Creative Glam. All things home with Sharon. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam, All Things Home with Sharon. Bye!